Hello, right, welcome back to another episode of Talk with Brom. And uh, I can't help but say I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I mean, it's crazy because you asked me before the game, would I take a point against Chelsea? A club that has invested so much in their team, they're 200 million, and is in a much better financial position than we are right now. Yes, of course, of course I would. But it's so it's so difficult to take being 3 0 up. Um, two goals from Robinson and one from Bartley. Um, and then they just had too much quality in the second half, I think. Mount's goal was excellent. If you if you if you're having a go at Johnston for that, then have a look at yourself, I think, because there wasn't a great deal he could have done about it. He saw it late and it was just it was a fantastic shot. I know it's near post, but I just think you've got to give credit to Mount there. But that unfortunately did open the way for Chelsea a little bit. Um their second goal was class, nice interplay. But but come on, like seriously, there's a foul in the build up, right? What what's happening with this season with Furlong getting fouled and us not getting the decision? It happened last week against Everton, and now it's happening against Chelsea. It's, it's that wasn't even the worst one. The worst one. What what even is the handball rule anymore? It hit his arm. Okay, it hit his arm. In the build up to a goal, the goal came like immediately after, pretty much. It's a handball and it's a disgrace that it's not getting given. It's not getting ruled off, rather. I tell you what, it's one rule for the London Cabal. And the Manchester Cabal and Liverpool and a different rule for the rest, right? VAR couldn't stand the fact that we were winning. They couldn't stand they couldn't they couldn't let us win. They had to do something. And they've just gone, oh nah, I'm just gonna ignore the rule for this. For, because it's Chelsea, I'm just gonna ignore it. Let them have it have it. 3 3. Could be good drama. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm trying so hard not to swear here, because it's just it's ridiculous. And the sooner that's sorted out, the better. Because, and it's the same with Bilic is sending off. It's one rule for them, one rule for the others, and it's an absolute abomination. It's an abomination. Positives. Sawyer's best game in the Albion shirt, in an Albion shirt <coughs> for me. Certainly in the Premier League, anyway. I thought he's fantastic today. He's definitely getting more stuck in with challenges and tackles. And as I said, it, it, made, it would have made a huge difference if he'd be doing that against Leicester and Everton. But today he really got stuck in and um, helped the team defend and graft. So, um, plaudits to Sawyers. I thought Furlong had an excellent game. Um, Ajayi had a fantastic game. He did a Usain Bolt pass Marcus Alonso at one point. He played some fantastic football, particularly in the first half. Hats off Callum Robinson getting those two goals. Exceptionally clinical. Crazy, crazy clinical. Um, and that bodes really well. We can score. We can score. That's what's frustrating. But um, now we've conceded the most amount of goals for any team in the first few games, I think, in the Premier League era. So um, we need to definitely sort that out. Let's get see what Havanovic does, let's see how Kipre does, see how Hagazi does. I actually thought Bartley performed quite well today. Um, he was quite commanding. Guys, please, please do not be disheartened. Please do not be disheartened because we, we performed so well against a side that was expected to just murder us. Some people had us down as 5-0 losers today and we got a point. We got no more points than Chelsea, or no fewer points than Chelsea today. And uh, we were robbed because of VAR. Um, so please do not be disheartened. It's a long season. Like There's, there's still so many games to go. Um, there's what, like 85, 90, 105 points left, I think, to, uh, to, to go, available. So just keep the faith. Up the Albion. A fantastic performance for a lot of that game. Really unlucky. Um, I actually think we defended well, a lot better than we did in the previous two games. There's just some quality and dodgy decisions that went against us. I'll see you all in the next video. Keep the faith. Come on, you baggies. Let's not, let's not go against players today, this evening, on social media or keyboard warriors. Because, because I think people perform really well and they don't deserve it. And they will know as well that they, they will be disappointed themselves. They're humans that care about the club. They tried today. They tried against a 200 million plus Chelsea outfit. The team that spent so much more money than everyone else, all of their rivals, right, drew three all against the mighty baggies, right? Let's go, okay? Do not be disheartened. I'll see you all in the next game.